All right, welcome back. You're taking a look at Eustace, which is behind me. I yeah. said to our producer, it looks almost fake, right? Totally. The reflection re is too aggressive, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is not, I promise, a manipulated image. This is the live shot there. Wow. And even though it looks peaceful, you would have to be super bundled up to be sitting next to the lake today. You would be. It reminds me of like a Bob Ross painting before he messes it up with the tree in the middle. Oh no, he messed it up and he fixes it. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen a reflection quite that. I wonder if it's like the water's so still because it's almost close to getting a little freezing. Um, like ice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Just put a happy little tree there in the corner. <laughs> Just be living by himself. Oh no, all right, I'm all right, Bob Ross. <laughs> all right, twenties where we started this morning, teens into the mountains and foothills. It was chilly this morning, so by comparison, we're doing all right in the low to mid forties along the coastline. Thirties still into the mountains, where they likely won't get out of the thirties today because of where they started. It's just not enough. Uh, in this air mass to get it done. We talked yesterday about the possibility for a rain or snow shower along the coastline, but I was starting to feel by the afternoon that it was less and less likely as the storm trended farther and farther out to sea. And uh, not only are there no rain or snow showers uh, over us, it's actually sunny pretty much everywhere as the storm misses to our south and east. You can see a couple of showers right down towards the Portsmouth area, actually a little bit farther south than that at this point into the Gloucester, Massachusetts area. So it looks like we'll be okay here and we're not going to catch any of the rain or snow showers, largely sunny through the rest of this afternoon. Hour by hour forecast looking good. I mean, again, it's going to be chilly. We're only going to be in the 40s and the mountains will stay in the 30s, mostly sunny to partly cloudy through later today. Tonight's chilly again, 20s along the coastline, mid 20s, teens. Very similar to what we saw last night with the clear skies and the light winds. Tomorrow's a nice bright day, but temperatures same, 40 to 45. And keep in mind, this is actually below average for this time of the year. Our average high is about 55 or so. So we're about 10 degrees cool in a lot of spots during the daytime. Our overnight lows are also on the cooler side. And we'll roll into Friday with some additional cloud cover, but we start to warm up a bit here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's not going to be super drastic as you might like it to be, but we should be able to get into the mid 50s or so uh, Friday afternoon with a little bit of sun peeking out later in the day. And then Saturday, we're going to wait for this cold front to come through. Temperatures will get to the 50s, about 50 or so before that. And then the front comes through with just an isolated chance for a sprinkle. I think most of the weekend is good, even though we've got a couple of things kind of dancing around here. A front coming through on Saturday and then another chance of a sprinkle on Sunday afternoon as a secondary front comes through. But I think the bottom line is that most of the weekend will be dry with a mixture of sun and clouds and temperatures will be about you know, five to 10 degrees, at least warmer than they are right now. So we'll take that as a victory. There's our front right there on Saturday. Most of us are dry as this front comes through. We probably end up sunny Saturday afternoon. Sunday starts off nice enough, but there is a chance for a sprinkle Sunday afternoon. So again, um, kind of mixed, but I think the balance of the weekend is positive. And then Monday's quiet, and then we've got a system coming in on Tuesday that looks pretty messy. Rain along the coast, snow again, it looks like, into the mountains. It's been cold enough to make that happen. Becoming sunny is how we put it on Saturday. That's fall back uh, again, technically Sunday morning, but Saturday night, maybe a sprinkle on Sunday afternoon, increasing clouds on Monday. And oh yeah, that's so that would be that. Wait, is that election day? Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to trust Todd on that one on Tuesday, um, which looks like it could be quite messy. So that's something to consider. We actually haven't had a voting day in a while that the weather potentially would be a factor. And I think the mountains and foothills here on Tuesday might be, but we've also got a week to right. nail that down. And we know how quickly things can change. That's so for sure. Keep yeah. an eye on that. Thanks, Keith.